I want to go over some facts in the press media this morning in a press conference for Dave Aranda. First of all, Blake Shapin has been named a starting quarterback. Sawyer really progressed at the end of the spring. I have to imagine that he'll have to, he will continue to improve. And and Dave Aranda told him, you really impressed and you're, we're excited about your future here. So, and Sawyer's going to, he's already going to want to come back anyway. He's already said that to Dave Aranda, so no need to worry about him transferring out. Gorman Randolph has been suspended, the outside linebacker, for an off-the-field incident, and he didn't elaborate on it, but I I have a hunch what it is, like a DUI or DWI. Yeah. And he's hoping that Randolph will be able to return this season. Like, Byron Vaughn is going to help, like, the pass rush, like the transfer outside linebacker from Utah State. And Aranda, while discussing his growth as a coach, after stating he felt that he wasn't strict enough at the start of spring, I think some of the things I talked about are unique to us. And I've been with teams with these things and maybe wouldn't have been noticed by the coaching staff. And Aranda did say that Baylor is ready to compete with NIL. I do think, I do, and I think it's getting better. My philosophy is to be in it, and we're in it. And said the Baylor experience is still the main part of the recruiting, but NIL is a critical piece, and I think it's getting bigger. So that's definitely a good thing. And really, shape shaping like uh, uh, Randall likes shaping what he showed in the spring drills and and his his leadership as well. So yeah, and the progress that Soy Soy Robertson has shown. So. Really, I know some people are going to be upset with Chapin being named the starter. Look, Sawyer Robertson is still getting trying and is still trying to get used to a, a new system offensively. Because remember, he was a, in a in a spread offense both in college and high school. We're in a wide zone offense. That's totally different. You'd be under center more. So. Yeah, that's one thing, and hopefully shaping improves. But if nothing else, you have a solid backup plan. So that's the main takeaways I would take from this press conference, which has been released on Bay Athletics YouTube page too. So if you want to listen to all 25 minutes of it, you can. So, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be on Baylor Athletics on Sikkim 365 later on. So, y'all could listen to it. And whether you agree with the shaping decision or not, it's up to you. I'm not going to convince you either way. But I'm just going to say, keep an open mind. Some of the reason for the team struggles last year is not just on shape it. Look at the defense. I mean, they regressed. In addition, the skill position, guys, we lost a lot of production from the year before. And now... We're bringing back so much, and we got Keith Charn Jackson as well. I know we lost Ben Sims and Squirrel Williams, but granted, we got to have a solid running back room with four running backs, and tight end room is solid. Well, our receivers still needs to be proven a bit, but I think part of it's due to injuries, so I think we'll be fine there down the line. Offensive line, of course, they they're gonna have to replace all five stars, as we know, but. Hopefully they continue to progress and be better in pass protection, but their run game has been really good. So, and maybe we'll just slow it, uh, find a true identity on the offensive side of the ball, and uh, we want to try to be more pass heavy in terms of like under center, or just pound a rock, pound a rock, pound a rock, and then do a little bit of play action over the top, or play action to the tight end. You know, or straight up pass the ball sometimes, but not. But you get what I'm saying. And of course, the defense, we're going to play more man coverage. 
and, and more man coverage, especially like press coverage. Instead of playing zone zone, it's still going to be used, but I wouldn't think as much as man to man. So, and the reason why we did not hit the transfer portal for safeties is because some of those guys in that position, like Devin Lemire, Devin Bobby, I'm trying to think some other guys' names, but you get what I'm saying. We had some guys that. come back and decide not to enter the transfer portal so and it does make sense trying to think of other names that Corey Gordon as well, so yeah, that's the why. That's why we did not hit a, a get a transfer at that safety position, but we did at corner, so in two of those, so it makes a lot of sense. And I'm glad that Dave Aranda isn't having no more nonsense, like off the field. You've got to not have off the field issues. It's only a distraction, so. Anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. And see you guys later. Five subscribers are on the road to it. Let's go.